Hi everybody. This is the first time I'll be traveling on the Mahaika River all the way to the St. Cuthbert's Mission. And I am anticipating this to be very exciting. And I'm happy to take you along with me. Let's go. The wait was finally over and we are on our way. We started our journey to the location from which we will be ferried to our final destination. At the Unity Junction, we diverted onto the new road that replaced the old train line a few years back. We took a quick stop at the famous KK gas station. This is the hangout spot on weekends for residents from surrounding communities. As we entered Mahaika, we crossed the Mahaika Bridge. To its southern side, you can notice the old railway bridge that accommodated the railway trail that spanned from Georgetown to Rusignal across the Mahaika River. It stands as a reminder of our industrial heritage. Mahaika is predominantly low coastal plain, with a very small portion of the hilly sand and clay region further inland. The indigenous mission of St. Cotsburg is on the hilly sand clay belt of region 4. I'm not sure if it's the river or the village got the title Mahaika Forest. The Mahaika community can be found 25 miles from Georgetown, bordering the Atlantic Ocean, East Barbies Quarantine, Upper Demerara, and Demerara Mahaika. <laughs> Mahaika is known largely for rice and cash crops farming. Many people have their own kitchen gardens. Cattle are reared in small amounts for beef and dairy purposes.
And in case you are wondering, every facility exists here. From the community playgrounds, to the places of worship, schools, and guess what? The huge houses are striking. Off the East Coast Highway, we entered Branch Road, the Hoopma Hiker. We drove for about 20 minutes, covering about 8 miles. It's an amazing sight. The large open rice lands with few small communities such as Big Baibu, Small Baibu, Johook, nestled nicely in between. Having arrived at the Mahaika Tours location, I can feel the excitement as I really looked forward to this trip. Of course, we took some time to refresh before we get started. It was then time to get going and once we boarded, we can feel the excitement. We were ready for that trip. No, no worry, but she, she, she got fine. The matter began to matter. The matter began to matter. Push the moon back this way, you're going the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
Traveling along the river, the beautiful tree line along its banks, the scenic view and the many steep turns and twists makes for an exhilarating journey. At times, we came almost to a halt to navigate and avoid hitting the fallen trees in the river. As we traveled upstream, the calmness of the river revealed an almost perfect reflection of the sky. While the monkeys were playing, in their natural habitat. Enjoy the scenery as we go along. After traveling for about an hour and 30 minutes, on the Mahaika River, Pakuri village can be seen in the distance. Harwa harwa kuda hato mata piken to mata pi To mata piken to mata pi To mata piken to mata pi To mata piken to mata pi Taro tarusa use sawa Arriving at the village, we explored its natural beauty before venturing inside. Da ichi amoka ba mata piasa trata marita kaku kaku bodeda da uyu amoka ba mata piasa trato marita harwa harwa kuta hato mata Saint Cuthbert's Mission is a well-known community. The village has and proudly holds the title of one of Guyana's most popular villages. Da ichi amoka 
Bamata Piazza, Kentawa Marita, Kako Kako Potata, Yako Yua Moka, Bamata Piazza, Kentata Marita, Harwa Harwa Kota Hato Mata Pikento Mata Pi, Tomata Pikento Mata Pi, Tomata Pikento Mata Pi, Tomata Pikento Mata Pi. After a brief rest, uh, we started trekking to the village. It was a long walk. It took us about 15 minutes. The hot midday sun and the heat tested our endurance. But the fun was good. Bear in mind, unlike the others, I'm fasting. <laughs> Tomato pigeon, tomato pi. Tomato pigeon, tomato pi. Da ichi ya moka, ba mata piasa. Trata marita, kaku kaku bodeda. Da uyu ya moka, ba mata piasa. Trato Marita, Harwa Harwa Kuta Hato Mata Piken to Mata Pi To Mata Piken to Mata Pi Mata Piken to Mata Pi To Mata Piken to Mata Pi We managed to reach the village and once there we enjoyed the friendliness of the people and relaxed in a refreshingly tranquil environment that suited our minds. The residents were very hospitable, welcoming, and were ready for a conversation once you engage them. How are you? Say hi. Very well, you good? All right. Where is the cricket ground from here? Yeah. Oh, I'll go back home this way. Say hello. You show me where the cricket ground is? Yeah, I'm going to fly it over there. You want to come see? Go over, sir. Where? Over, sir. Sir, you see a big piece over there. Good boy. Thanks. Thanks. Pakori village was settled in the early 1800s by the Arawak and regarded as the cultural capital for Amerindians in Region 4. The village is estimated to be home to more than 2,000 residents spread out in different areas in the village.
simplicity in which the residents live is reminiscent of the time before we relied so much on technology in our daily routines. Then it was time to leave and we headed back to the creek. But before that, the ladies could not resist the water and decided to take something like a swim, pulling themselves off. It was a good day at the village. It was a little hot, but we enjoyed every moment of it. Upon leaving, we managed to see a few activities along the river, something that was scarce on our way in. How far are you guys going? Whoa! 
All the way to the mission? So, tell me something. Look. What time you are reaching into the mission? What time you are reaching? Bamata Piesa, Kenta wa Marita, Kako Kako Poteta. Da Uyu Amoka, Bamata Piesa, Kenta wa Marita, Harwa Harwa Kuta Hato Mata Pi, Kento Mata Pi. This was totally an awesome trip. We enjoyed every moment of it. And if you haven't visited St. Cuthbert's Mission as yet, I want to encourage you to take that trip. Hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to like, subscribe and share.